All right, so this week I've got an interesting way of creating a bullet hole effect that you can use on virtually any image. And the cool thing is that it's going to be a brush. You know, I like to create cool brushes. Well, this is going to be a brush that we create from other brushes. It's kind of cool. Uh, so let's jump right in here and start by selecting the brush tool. And what we're going to do is go into the brush menu here. And we're going to choose a relatively small brush. Let's get this number 19 here. I think we're going to make it smaller, but let's just make it this size so we can see the changes that take effect when we modify it. So let's open up the brush options, this little icon up here. And inside, we want to make sure that we have the shape dynamics checked on, if it isn't already. And inside there, we're going to take the size jitter all the way up to 100. And we're going to also make sure, well, if you're using a pressure sensitive tablet, you can go ahead and leave the pen pressure on. You can, you can also go ahead and turn it off, it really doesn't matter. And you can just do a little test move here, and that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and close that. I'm going to make that, as I said, I'm going to make that brush smaller. In fact, we're going to take it down to around 5. Now, it's still got those same properties on there. What I'm going to do is inside the document, let's, of course, make sure we're using a blank layer. And right in the middle of the document, I'm going to hold down my Shift key and just drag down from top to bottom. And that gives me that line there. I'm going to load that layer as a selection. I'm going to Command or Control click right on that layer, and let's go into the Edit menu and choose Define Brush Preset. Let's go ahead and do that. Does it? It'll go, and you can see my brush is going ahead and looking like that effect right now. So let's throw that layer away, and let's go ahead and create a new blank layer. And we've defined our brush. Let's go in here and change this brush. So let's go into the brush options, and first let's activate the shape dynamics, and we're going to take Make sure the size jitter, again, is all the way up to 100. And we're also going to take the angle jitter and take that all the way to 100. Notice what's going on here. I'm also going to take the roundness jitter and take that all the way up to 100 as well. And we're going to go into the brush tip shapes, and we're going to take the spacing up to around 50. And if we just click in here, you can see what's going on. It's looking pretty good. So actually, let's take this to about 75. So I'm going to close my brush options. I'm going to use my left bracket key and make that brush just a tiny bit smaller. And what I'm going to do is right in the center of the document, I'm just going to click and ever so slightly just kind of twirl around in a very, very small circle and watch what happens when I do that. It kind of rotates around there, giving me a very interesting effect. And it's already starting to look like kind of like a cracked, kind of like a bullet hole effect. It's not quite there yet. We've got to change a few more things. So we've got that in place. And then I, saw, then I was thinking, you know, we want to see like some cracks going in between these. So let's go back to that brush options and increase that spacing to about 100. And just as we did a moment ago, well, I'm going to make that brush a little bit smaller again using the left bracket key, make it a little bit smaller. Now, as we did a moment ago, I just very, very small circles just to create this. This time I'm going to spiral out into bigger circles and notice make that brush a little bit bigger. And I do need to increase that spacing a little bit, quite a bit. Let's take it to about 200. And again, as I did, it's going to start in the center and just kind of spiral out, probably a little much, just ever so slightly touch. But it kind of gives me those little crosshairs, little cross lines in between the cracks there. Just a little, very subtle effect there. So I think that'll do. Now, I want to make that center area where the black is a little bit darker. So I'm going to grab my gradient tool and using the radial gradient, which is the second one, and using foreground to transparent, making sure that black set is our foreground. Let's go in there and just hold down my shift key and just drag outward a little bit. That'll make that area a little bit darker. Now, what I want to do is actually make the hole in here. I'm going to grab my eraser tool. And with that, we're going to go and grab just one of these little scatter brushes here. Let's get this one right here. And let's make that a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to click once right inside there. Actually, maybe just a couple times. And that'll give me that hole inside of there. So this is all on its own layer. So now what we're going to do is define this as a brush. So let's go ahead and load that layer as a selection. I'm going to Command or Control click directly on there. Under the Edit menu, choose Define Brush Preset. There we have it. All looks cool. So. Let's create a new blank layer and turn this one off for a moment. And let's test this brush and see how it's going to work. So let's go in here and select that brush. There we see it. So if I click once, you can see it looks pretty good. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And this is, again, the beauty of it being a brush. It's not a graphic. We would have to scale it. But if it was a brush, we could just change the size of the brush. And then we just kind of paint these things around in here. 
Well, they're all looking the same, and they're all sitting in the same rotation. We don't necessarily want that, so we want to kind of have random it up. So let's go into the brush options, and let's go and activate shape dynamics. And I'm going to take the size jitter back to zero, but we're going to take the angle jitter and leave it at 100. So every time we click, oh, turn the pen pressure off as well. And we'll make sure the roundness jitter is again back at zero. So it's all the same size. It's just going to vary the angle every time we click, as you can see. So it's giving me something very different every time. So brush is set. Let's go ahead and apply it to an image that it might work on. Here I have my super spy image here. So let's go in here, create a new blank layer. Go and grab that brush, make it a little bit smaller. Let's go make sure those behaviors are, since we're in a new document, we may have to go here and make sure, yep, we need to activate the dynamics. You know, angles at 100, size and everything else is down, so let's go in here and just go boom, boom, poosh, gotta have the sound effects. And that looks like it might work. Let's put that right there. And if we, all we gotta do now, let's move this layer down and add some text. And there we have a super cool spy image. Now, of course, we're painting in black. So if we wanted to maybe select all those bullet holes and erase them, and let's do it in a color. Let's kind of do the same blue we've got going on down here. And again, just as before, we'll just... Very cool bullet holes right on a brush. 